So we're going to go through my favorite starting point for hamstring mapping. I'm going to tell you guys again why I like this over anything else. So what I want you to do, come up for a sec, you're going to come into a push-up position face down on the ground, on the, over the bench. I want your hip crease yeah. right here on the edge of the bench. Mm -hmm. so yeah, right down there. You've probably seen this before because everybody loves this thing, loves and hates. Now, I want you to bend your knees, zoop, push your heels up into the barbell. Okay, keep your hands there for now. What have we just done here in this top position if he was obviously not helping himself out? What position have we created? <coughs> we've, cr I don't wanna get into your butthole. Um, <laughs> we found that map, yeah? Ideally, you'll actually come into, like you'll manipulate this angle to find where that person's map is, but don't worry too much about that. This is plenty. Now, in that map position, you actually are really, really, really weak. That fully shortened position, if you look into something really fucking boring called the length tension relationship, it dictates that when you get into this map position, you are weak, okay? It is like, that's why you get that pain there. Because your brain's like, I don't wanna go there, it's fucking weak. Again, we use that pain to our advantage. We use that pain as a purpose the cue to tell you, hey, here's your hamstring. Hey, here's your glute. Now, here's where we've got to start thinking beyond basic concentric, eccentric. The hamstrings do definitely play those roles, but realistically, how often do we really do this under load? Not really. So what is the hamstring's real role? It's not really strong knee flexion. It is obviously a bit of hip extension as well. And there is knee flexion involved, but it's more about gait, running, sprinting, kicking, falling. It's about having resistance to flexion. That's what the hamstrings are really designed to do. Yes, they do extension, but they also control you eccentrically to stop you when you run and you drop eccentrically. Or when you kick and they stop you eccentrically because your leg doesn't fall off. And that's where a lot of issues arise when people don't have that eccentric control that's where you get hamstring tears. Because you train a lot concentric, for sure, but there's no eccentric lowering. That's what I love about this. So, push your legs up, cross your arms over your shoulders, flex your abs, because I don't want too much of this lumbar. Drop yourself down, tap your nose to the grounds, push up, glutes down, in. At the top of every single rep, we are length tension, come back down again. We are very, very weak. And there's a very strong, like you're getting shot in the hamstring. Fantastic. That tells your brain, hey, here's your hamstring. What's happening on the eccentric? What's he doing? Hip flexion. His hamstring, I have to slowly lower him to the ground. To me, this is not just training hamstrings. This is not just mapping out hamstrings. This is mapping hamstrings more for their functional role of resisting flexion forces of lowering you down under control into flexion. Because that little man is up here now and he's slowly dropping you down. Your body just wants to collapse straight forwards. So I want to build that strength here. That's what I really care about. And that top map, bang, right there, that every single rep is your reminder. Hey, here is your hamstring. Hey, here is your hamstring. As you get it really, really short. Make sense? How's that feel for you? Keep going for us. How's that feel? Pretty disgusting, yeah. So, obviously we can play with foot positions as well, we won't. You can stay there, that's fine, keep going through it. We're gonna check that with you two in a second. Um, but how do we make this harder? We can go through things like adding load, okay? And I think that's where you wanna go long term, because this in itself, you'll gain mastery very, very quickly. Okay, so start adding load to it. You can also, as they fatigue with body weight, what else can we do to it? How can we make it more disgusting? as they fatigue with body weight, hey? Isometric. Isometric, of course. Push down. Oh, I could push down, for sure. But let's say he's failed now. Keep going through it. How do we extend the set? Push yeah. So you're stronger eccentrically than you are concentrically, yeah? So if he fails, come all the way down again, push your hands onto the ground, lift yourself back up, contract, lower down. Okay, do it again, push up, contract, lower down, maybe we do, once he fails with that, you are stronger isometrically than you are eccentrically. So maybe just push yourself up, contract, come down, and just hold. Hang on, hang on for, 
Hold, man. <laughs> Come up again. And down a bit. Hold there. Hold there. Come down a bit more. Hold there. Hold there. Come down a bit more. Hold there. That's more beneficial than, say, um, banding up here to get a few reps out. I think so. Yeah. I think this is better. Because this is more about, like, the band would be a good assistance to help get more reps out. But I think, again, looking at resisting flexion, eccentric control. That's what I really care about. And then once it's fucked up there, fingertips on the ground the entire time. Assist yourself all the way through it. Okay. Now, do I do this a lot? Not really. <laughs> this is just for you, my podiatrist. Come on out, man. I actually do do it a fair bit. But yeah, it's, it will inebriate you. Um, but now you've got a very, very clear map of your hamstrings. I don't think you're ever going to forget that for the rest of your life. Now you know what your hamstrings are. Now, before we move on, I want us to just stay here. Yeah. Just building and building and building. Now you hold down for like 20 or 30 seconds. No, stay, 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 stay facing that way. There you go. Further because they're not coming forward. They're bending over to the side. More there. Now, come back down and back up again. 